Hello and welcome to Nasi Lemak Tech and I'm Koki and I'm going to take you to a tour about Jelly Bean today which is uh, Android 4.1 um, I just flashed Jelly Bean to my Galaxy Nexus This is the version of Galaxy Nexus' um, Jelly Bean that was given out in Google I.O. the other day um, and I just flashed it to my phone and let's take a tour so booting up we can see this uh, the new lock screen uh, we are not gonna take a look at it now uh, so let's just move on uh, we will show you this uh, when you go to your settings menu you can see that uh, this is running uh, Android 4.1 baseband and all these things uh, this is the new easter egg Android 4.1 jelly bean if you hold it long enough they show you all these smiley faces so going back, um, we'll take a look at the camera first. Uh, camera menu is still the same as ICS. Uh, we can see there's settings here. We can see the scan, um, exposure, the white balance and also the flash. And it's actually the same. But when we swipe to the left, we can see all this. This is the picture I took just now. And if we pinch to zoom, we can actually show all the pictures in a reel, which is, um, I suppose it's really, really great. But uh, one thing for sure is it lacks the multiple selection. Uh, though deleting will be easy as you just swipe it up and then it's deleted. Um, so let's take a look at the notification next. Uh, as you can see here, I just emailed myself. Um, the new notification bar is actually amazing. It crunches in more information in this small space. Uh, what we can do now is we can do two gestures, two finger gestures, push it up to collapse, push it down to actually show more information. This works in a lot of notifications, but not all because uh, some are still not updated yet. Um, it's also nice that, uh, as you can see, there are some eye candy upgrades. As I just touch the bar here, the background is quite light and if I go down some more, it darkens down. Uh, it is just a, a nice eye candy, I don't suppose it has any great effect or whatever. So um, next, the notification bar also has a, um, I don't know what's this called, but if you hold it long enough, it'll show you app information when you tap in just brings you into the app menu and yeah that's a shortcut there um, so now let's take a look at the lock screen uh, the lock screen itself has a major UI redesign uh, you can see there's this this new thing here as I came from ICS um, when you press the lock button here you can see there's unlock there's camera back in ICS but now there's a new Google here uh, which takes you directly to the Google Now so let's take a look at Google Now um, um, I have to say that Google Now is a very nice piece of software and Google is actually re winning the entire race as for now due to its speed and accuracy so let me show you now Google what is the weather now? and mostly cloudy in Seri Kembangan. Here's the forecast for the next few days. There you have it. The result shown is actually very nice. You can see there's what I've searched right in front of me. If I swipe up, I can see the forecast and everything else. Uh, slide this, it's interactive. Slide down some more and then you can see the web searches. Um, back here, you can select web, Im web images or places so if I tap on images, it will just show me image results. Um, other than that, for Google Now, the shortcuts for Google Search, Google Voice Search, and this top bar is actually all the same. The Google's, uh, this Google Search leads you back to Google Now, uh, which is this, this entire menu. Um, and this one leads you back here, it's the same. If I tap on the mic, it will just lead me here. 
if I tap on the voice search, it'll just lead me back here, which I think is quite pointless for this. Uh, so next, let's take a look at the widgets menu. There's a small change here. Uh, as we can see here, when we tap on the widgets, we can see grids actually. Last time they just show you it's 4 times 1 and you can see nothing else about it. But now they actually show you there's small grids here. Uh, it takes 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, also, as you can see just now, uh, all the widgets are pushed down to make space for the widgets that you want to add in. Uh, just like this. If I go down, then they just push it up. If I go up some more, then they just push it down. If I do this, then they just push, push, push and push. What I like about this is uh, there's no more hassle in removing the old widgets when you want to add new ones like what you do in ICS.